investigative animal, clinical, and then public health. Of course, I, I, I put some other ones like neuroscience, optometry, and visual optics that's related to engineering and, and devices. Yeah. Just a review of what has been mentioned. But uh, translation, as I mentioned, has two aspects bench to bedside, that is translational research, and the other aspect is research translation. I just want to add one more thing, that is to translate something from other areas of the medicine. This is the classical, the classic example of translating a lesson or a method from other areas of medicine is that of the anti-EJF agents that were originally used in colon and in other types of uh, diseases like colon cancer. And they, the, the idea came that they might be used for uh, ocular conditions that like age-related macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy. So this is another uh, concept that could be cons uh, considered translational. And the other thing is to use a method that is being used in other areas, like for, for instance, meteorology, 